So the first dish we're going to do today is braised shin of scotch beef in a croquette. Yeah, so preparation, we bring in the shin of scotch beef on the bone, put it in the brine, we leave it there for three hours, bring it back out, pat it off dry, season with some salt and then sealing it off uh, just to get a wee bit of colour and get the, the meat set. We put it into a vacuum bag, we use a cooking liquor, sort of brown chicken stock based cooking liquor. Uh, and we cook that usually overnight just for convenience, 82 degrees for 12 hours. And then from the bag, we get obviously nice, soft braised meat, which we flake down. Uh, once we've got our meat, we season that with a tiny bit of orange zest, get some fresh herbs in there, a wee bit of Chinese five spice, classic simple bechamel, a dry mash. Mix it all together, roll it into ballotines, cling film ballotines, just to sort of set the shape, set that shape in the fridge. And then from there we can cut cut our pieces, or four centimetre pieces, uh, and then that gets panied panko breadcrumbs um, in the fryer, just nice and golden, obviously, piping hot through. Uh, so you'll get your three croquettes in the pie dish, a wee bit of, a wee bit of greenery, just for a bit of colour, and then you've got your paper ramekin of your smoked marrow mayo on the side for dipping in that shoe, and there you go. And so there we have our braised scotch beef shin croquette with smoked bone marrow meal. So the second dish we're going to do is the blue steel. To make the burger we get our uh, scotch beef in. In this particular blend we're using short ribbon bavet. Uh, we get that in as a piece. Just break it down into manageable dice, sort of two centimetre dice for the mincer. Uh, we mince the meat. We've got two different plates that we use as sort of fine in a course. We've got a ratio which is specific to each blend, um, you know, and then from there we season it, we work it together, we pound it to work it together to form, and then we weigh out portions, get it into balls, and then at that stage that's when it sort of gets tubbed up in the balls, into the fridge just to sort of set and sort of come, come back down, because obviously the temperature of the meat will rice for a couple of degrees during the sort of pounding process. So get in the fridge to set and then from there we're hand pressing, uh, hand pressing the patty to order each time onto the grill. We cook the burger on one side for three minutes and then as we turn it we'll be putting on some bacon jam, some pickled shiitake mushrooms will go on top of that and then we'll just pop that under the cloche for 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, cloche comes off, uh, some blue mur a nice piece of blue murder cheese on top of that. Cloche back on, really just to warm the cheese through. And then that's, so that's the process of the burger from start to finish. So as far as building the burger, we get our brioche bun, which we'll toast on the grill. Uh, we start off with a nice umami rich mayo, uh, some gem lettuce, sliced fine tomato, and then we've got the piece of scotch short rib patty with the bacon jam, the shiitake mushrooms, that sits on top of the tomato, put the cheese there and then lid on. And we, the way we serve our burgers here is we wrap them in greaseproof paper. So we get it wrapped up in greaseproof paper. So there we have our blue steel burger, which is using our uh, scotch beef. We've got the bavette and short rib patty mix that's topped with a bit of bacon jam, shiitake mushrooms, blue murder cheese, and a brioche bun with the mammy rich mayo. Yeah, so that's served with the uh, triple cooked Molden sea salt fries and uh, buffalo wings. <laughs>